It's Chris Caddo from uh, Putney Breeze Business Advisors. Now you might ask yourself, now how does a business performance advisor actually help me improve the performance of my business? So what I'm going to do is just show you in a very quick couple of minutes on how uh, the method that uh, we use to make sure that uh, you grow your business appropriately and maximise your profitability to grow that uh, living asset as they what we call it. So follow me and I'll show you in a very few quick minutes on how we actually achieve this. Come on then. Okay, now, fundamentally, uh, in terms of improving the performance of your business, there are three things, there are three things that uh, Putney Bridge Business Advisors help you with, uh, and they are key. They're fundamental to improving the effectiveness of your business, to increase your profitability, and to grow it appropriately. Now, the first thing, the first thing that uh, uh, we help you with is having a clear business direction. Now, a clear business direction is having a clear understanding of exactly what the geographical market you're trying to dominate, what's the market niche you're trying to dominate, what's the service which you want to be well known as, as a leading provider of, and making sure that you focus your resources appropriately so you can actually have that direction, understand your destination, and use your assets appropriately to reach that as effectively and as efficient as possible. So first and foremost is understanding exactly what it is you're trying to achieve in terms of your geographical marketplace, your product niche, your service offering, and having it nice and clear for yourself. Now the second step is to have a business model, and that is a clear business model. And what I mean by a business model, and I can guarantee you, 90% of you uh, may not have a business model at all. It may be just all in your head, perhaps, as a business owner, or you have got a very rough outline of your business model written somewhere uh, that you've sketched, but you don't have a model which you can use to plan appropriately to understand when you need to put on more staff, what is the cash flow impact of putting on more staff, and what is the level of revenue that you need to generate, or the margins that you need to generate, or the volume of sales that you need to achieve to not only pay for that additional staff member, but to profit appropriately and have the appropriate return from that staff member. So how do you do that? You basically need to understand your revenue drivers and your cost drivers, the margins on your products, and understand the volumes required to actually achieve those goals. Understand what your break-even position is. And not just your break-even position to survive, but your break-even position to deliver the appropriate level of uh, return and satisfy your, the reasons of why you're in business in the first place. So having that business model is critical. And I can guarantee you 90% of you won't have a clear business model that you can plan appropriately with. And that's what we do. We help you create that business model so you can plan appropriately with. Now, the third step is, which cascades from your business model, because once you understand your business model and you understand what your revenue drivers, your cost drivers are, what activities you need to achieve those goals, then you can have appropriate business measures. So where you're trying to achieve and how you're measuring, how you're going against those goals is critical. But first and foremost, you need your business model to understand what those measures are. And once you've got your business model, you can understand where you're at and where you want to be, how you're traveling against those goals, and what actions you need to take to make sure that you can correct the destination or correct the, the heading of your, your business enterprise. So just think of a ship, or think of an aircraft, and they've got a destination, and a direction to actually achieve that destination. But then they chart out a route, and they need to work out, and need to look at where they are in regards to how they plan to get to their destination. And from time to time, they need to change the direction of their ship, or the aircraft, to make sure that they reach that destination. And that's what business measures are for. So without having a clear understanding of what you, where you're trying to dominate, clear business model about your revenue and cost drivers and the measures that flow from that, it's very hard, but it can be difficult, to actually more difficult, to grow your business effectively and appropriately, and to use your assets, use your assets effectively, so that you can create that living asset, which is what Putney Bruce is all about. So you can either sell out one day, uh, or pass it on, cash out that golden nest egg, so if you like, you can hold it for a few long. But once we have these three steps, we can then, if you like, 
understand our sales and marketing penetration, understand how effective our sales and marketing efforts are, understand how effective our operational efforts are, uh, how efficient our operational efforts are, where we can actually improve, why? Because we know what we're measuring, and how we utilise our staff, how effective and efficiently are we utilising our staff so that we can, again, leverage on those assets, get more out of the resources that we have, grow our business and profit appropriately so that we can reach that uh, final destination that we're heading for. Now how do we do that? To begin with is what I call the business AOM, or business aid of navigation. Now if you sign up to the uh, next video, and there should be a, a box there to your right hand side, sign up and I'll send you a video on how the questions that you need to ask yourself to begin this process, the business aid of navigation. So you need to ask yourself a few questions to get your business destination right and where you're at and how you're going to achieve that. So sign up to the box on your right hand side and I look forward to seeing you in the next video and um, helping you achieve that business performance and growth that you hope to achieve. Bye for now, I look forward to seeing you then.